the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I Good morning guys. No pop this morning. We got we got this. Ah yeah. Uh Tuesday morning. Still driving the black Jeep. Because, well, Jangalang ain't done. And, uh, really, I realized something yesterday. I need to adjust my track bar on it because I loosened it up and I left it loose. So, it's going to need to be, uh, pretty much re readjusted tightened down that ought to make my steering a lot better which i ain't had it out on the road yet but that ought to make it better and then it really needs a front end alignment so i'm hoping i can get that done next monday but yeah i, I don't know i think it looks better lifted in the front but anyway I haven't done videos much here, having family in town and then, you know, the whole ordeal with wanting to redo the front end of the Jeep. And it's pretty much taken a toll on Deb. She's been pretty sick from it. Like, I guess heat exhaustion, which heat don't bother me that bad. I grew up without air conditioning for the first, like, 17 years, 18 years of my life. <coughs> so, uh everything I did was hot <laughs> but then you know we kind of get spoiled with the air conditioning and I just I kind of like going outside and working in the heat sometimes to uh, keep myself you know accustomed to the heat but it's been pretty hot other than that I ain't got shit going on I was glad I got to meet Austrian Robinson and give him a demo. That was pretty cool. He's a, a friend of a friend. And my buddy Brian had like showed him some videos of my Jeep. And he's like, I want to hear that thing. So it worked out pretty good. <clears throat> but other than that, guys, I ain't got shit going on. My life's been pretty boring here recently. <laughs> But it was great to get to spend time with family when they came in from out of town. Uh, now I need to get back on projects. And I know you guys like seeing the audio side more of my channel than mechanic in. And I'm no mechanic. But, you know, that had to be done. It's just part of my life. I needed to fix the front end of that Jeep. And get a lot of the upgraded parts on there. And really, I'd like to upgrade all that steering stuff to the beefier steering on this black Jeep. But if I do it, it's going to need another front end alignment. And really, this Jeep, if I do all that, it kind of is going to need... It needs. I think this one needs a little more lift in the front, too. So, honestly, I'd probably order a set of Echoes and put on the front of this. The Echoes wasn't terrible to install. It's just the only problem is taking the springs out and putting the springs back in. That is the part that really sucks. So, uh, other than that, everything's good. I just wanted to do a quick little video because, man, this weekend, I wasn't really in the mood to film. I like filming what I do for you guys, but it was just so damn hot. <coughs> and... The heat does take a little bit out of you. I had to take a lot of breaks, take a lot of water and stuff. Uh, but I, I, I don't know, guys. I know I saw that Ryan Lehman is uh, selling his demo build. And that's kind of what I wanted to touch on in this video this morning. You know, he made a post about selling it and he said he wanted to step back, take a break and... I don't know. I think he's selling it unloaded. It's the build called the Black Pearl. And guys, we all get like that. We do. We we get to the point where we're like, 
burn out on audio. And I think EXO is doing it right. <laughs> EXO has been working on his build for two years. And if you notice, I mean, I know a lot of you guys watch EXO. EXO will straight up work on his build. He'll take time off and work on something else. And then he'll go back to his build. And that's the whole point. Work on your build. If you get burnt out, step back from it. Take a break. You know, do something else for a while. I guarantee within a month, you're going to miss it. So, uh, I've been there. You know, I've been totally burnt out on doing this audio stuff in all my free time. And I will. I'll take a week or two off and... Usually by the end of the, the first week that I took off, I'm like, yeah, I need to get my shit back going. So, and right now, currently, you know, I have three builds to work on. I think this Vital Power Amp has an issue because it's getting to the point where if I turn the head unit, which I set the gain at like volume 32, but if I go volume 23 or 24 and roll the bass and I've in, sometimes it's fine, sometimes it'll protect. And this amp has a master slave switch that's been bad since I got it. And I've had it repaired, and they just didn't put a new one in. I forgot to tell them, but uh, I think this amp is needing to be shipped off. So that's why I ain't even messed with this build here. Uh, but then I got the Weiss Blazer, you know. And here recently, the build and it has been great, but mechanical issues. The blue Jeep, I got something rattling real bad with that piece of wood in the, the roof. After I put, well, I was doing it before I put the roof skin on. Then I tried putting some spray foam in there when I did the roof skin, but I didn't get the area that needs it. <coughs> but <coughs> I have a bunch of little projects to keep me going. And I think that actually helps me from getting burned out on one, working on one build. Now, guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not happy all the time just working on cars or audio. And that helps me balance out because it's like I'll have something audio that I get done. And then I got to fix something on the car itself, which I hate doing mechanic work. But I'm not paying somebody else to do mechanic work when I can probably do it as good or better than a lot of mechanics. So it, it keeps me going. Um. But if you get to the point where you're feeling like I'm almost over this build or I'm getting burnt out, take a break. You know, if the build ain't costing you anything to sit there, push it back, park it somewhere and do something else for a couple weeks or a month and then go back to it. The thing is, if you're a true base head, you're going to miss it in that, that time frame, you know. And it's like, Ryan, I saw something about him pulling equipment out, which means he's probably going to keep his equipment, which means down the road, he's probably going to start over. So in that situation, I think the only sensible thing that would make sense to me for him getting rid of the Black Pearl, it's a little blazer. Uh, I think it's 615, maybe. Maybe he's wanting to build bigger. That's all I can think of. You know, that would make sense. Get rid of it and build something bigger. But don't don't get rid of it if you're just burnt out because burnout goes away. You know, you might be burnt out now, but in a couple weeks or a month, you'll be missing it. So anyway, guys, I'm sorry I ain't been doing more video on here. And, you know, last night I hit y'all with a 40 minute video. Which the highlight of that was giving Austrian Robinson a demo. I think that's like the first full-fledged celebrity I ever had in the Jeep. And he had a blast. And I don't know a whole lot about football, guys. I don't keep up with football. I don't really watch it. So, yes, it was cool meeting the guy. But at the end of the day, I really had no clue who he was. <laughs> I mean, I had a clue who he was before I met him because... Uh, hanging out with my buddy Brian I've talked to him on FaceTime you know but like I said I'm not really a football fan so 
I thought it was cool to get an NFL player in there, but that's kind of the extent of it. Uh, you know, it ain't like I got Johnny Depp in there. I would like to get Johnny Depp in Jenga Lane. That would be cool for me or Keanu Reeves or somebody, you know. But anyway, guys, I'm taking my ass to work. I've missed a lot of work in the past couple weeks. And, uh, yeah, I ain't made a lot of money, so my finances are, uh, they're not happy. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all have a great day and a great week. Stay cool. Stay hydrated, guys. Peace out. And as always, base on. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the 